in this video i'll talk about how do you test uh, the assumption of linearity in uh, multiple regression and linear regression so what is the assumption of linearity well we assume that the uh, dependent and the independent variables are uh, linearly related so there is no non linearity between them a non linear pattern between them if we are you know fitting a regression line for a non linear relations that's wrong right so uh, so so we need to check for that how do we how do we do that uh, we can uh, do it graphically so while fitting our regression equation let's take one uh, you know one independent variable at time so uh, for this exercise i have uh, taken data from sas help you can get it from sas help uh, so i have variables like horsepower then uh, mileage weight length so this data set is for different cars okay and then uh, ignore the last two variables uh, so uh, my model is like this i want to know the impact of horsepower weight and length on mileage of the car so i'll take uh, so mileage is my dependent variable horsepower weight and length are independent variables so i'll take one independent variable at one uh, you know i'll take it once then then i'll go over to the next one so uh, and, uh, we will go one by one so first i have taken horsepower so i regress uh, mileage with horsepower and then plot uh, you know plot the regression line and see whether it's actually fitting in the data or not there itself i can get to know whether uh, you know the relationship is linear or there is some kind of a non linearity present uh, in the uh, data so let's run this code so uh, you must be familiar with the syntax because i have used the same syntax for in in my earlier videos in multiple regression and linear regression so hope the syntax uh, is familiar with you So you have got two plots. First, we'll see uh, the plot between dependent and independent variable. As you can see, most part of the data it's a linear relationship, but there is some kind of non-linear relationship at the beginning and then at the you know very end. Well, as, the re as a result of that, when you plot your uh, error with respect to the predicted value, you will see some kind of a heteroscedasticity. So that is a problem, you know. So you need to remove the non-linearity that is there. Uh, you know, there is not much of a non-linearity uh, non uh, in this case, but then there is still something there. So you can remove these outlier observations, and then maybe you can do some uh, variable transformation. I mean, you can check logarithm of horsepower or exponential of horsepower, or you know, do something about it so that. Uh, you know, the uh, relationship becomes more linear in nature. Uh, and in that case, your uh, your uh, error will be homoscedastic in nature. Otherwise, it is it is uh, with heteroscedastic. Right? And uh, you go on doing that with uh, other variables also, and see if all the independent variables are uh, having the same. Uh, same kind of relationship or not if if there is you know some kind of a non linearity so let's take length we need to remove the uh, the non linearity from the uh, data else it will be problematic
again this this has the same problem most part of the data there is a linear relationship but there are quite a few observations wherein uh, you know it seems like there is uh, some deviation from the linearity but it's much better than the last variable right and you can also see that except few places here and there your uh, most elasticity is maintained for a good period of time but early in the early you know some of the observation early uh, and then later point of time at the right most part there is uh, strong deviation from the most elasticity so this is the way you detect whether your data is having non-linearity or not make sure that is linear you can easily do it while doing expert data analysis explore these things while doing the modeling before doing the modeling in fact so that you don't have to go back and do it everything again you can uh, you know remove all this you know most of this issue at the very beginning